Around 148 packages have been released from February 15 to 21. As always, I introduce you to the 10 most popular packages in terms of likes. Among those we get a horizontal list view which scales up the current item, a widget for stacking swipeable cards, a password validation package with customizable validation rules and 7 more useful packages that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SynTechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the latest package releases. Last week's most popular package was a user input validation package and also this week we have another package that allows us to validate data. More precisely it is about passwords. The package Flutter PW Validator helps you to validate sign-in user entered passwords. Therefore you can define your own rules. All you need is the corresponding input field and a Flutter PW Validator object both sharing the same text editing controller. Using the Flutter PW validator object you can set various rules such as the length of the password and how many capital letters, numbers or special characters the password must contain. Just like last week we got a wonderful animation package again as we know it from apps like Tinder for example the package allows you to swipe through a stack of cards. The package Swipeable Stack provides a widget for stacking cards which users can swipe horizontally and vertically. If you are regularly on Reddit, you've probably heard about the iOS jank problem. If you haven't and want to read up on it, I've linked to the Reddit post as well as the bug report in the video description. To briefly summarize, it's about animations not running cleanly on iOS devices. The term jank describes any stuttering or choppiness in the movement of an animation. This jank occurs on the first run. After that they run as usual. This problem has attracted a lot of attention and the following package provides a workaround to counteract this problem. The package warm-up routine is a general purpose wrapper for warming up animations. This solution is not very scalable for applications with many animations, but at least for some smaller projects this could be a useful workaround. Next we have a package that deals with the processing of personal data of people from Indonesia. With NIK Validator you can parse identity card information to get useful information out of it. If you are dealing with geographic data, then the next package might be quite interesting. The package Yandex Geocoder provides an API to translate geographic coordinates like the latitude or longitude into an address or vice versa. Next we have another SDK for a payment service. With MadPay you can easily integrate Google Pay and Apple Pay into your Flutter app. You want to adapt your app to the platform it runs on. With the package selector you get a multi-type supported platform selector to write functional programming code. Just use the platform class to check for a specific platform, for example is Android or is iOS, to check if the app is running on an Android or iOS device. On week 5 we had a package to simplify the routing or navigation in Flutter apps. Today we get another routing solution which is called vRouter. This package also promises to make navigation and routing easy and this on every platform. Features are automated web URL handling, nesting routes, transitions, advanced URL naming, reacting to route changes, customizable pop events and much more. With the second most liked package of this week we get something very special. The package Very Good CLI provides a command line interface for Dart. When you create an app with this CLI, for example using this command, you get a lot of useful features pre-installed like cross-platform support, built-in flavors or environments, support for internationalization, sound null safety, an integrated block architecture, testing, logging, strict rules for linting, continuous integration and lots of useful extras to speed up your work as a developer. 
Now let's have a look on the number one of the week. The package Scaled List offers a horizontal list view with lots of modification options, including a scaled current item and curved custom painting. Those were the top 10 of the week. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, all the package links and further information can be found in the video description. Any questions, recommendations or any kind of feedback are appreciated. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great week and see you soon.